Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer bringing you some World Painter action. When we left off, I had finished for the most part the coastal areas of the map. If you don't know, we are making Pike from Game of Thrones, the entire island of Pike, including the castle and the two towns that are going to be located on it. Um, pretty much other than that, nothing else of concern. Uh, when you went, well, when we left off, there was uh, only coastal cliffs and the entire place was made out of dirt. Today, we are going to be going over mountains and details of terrain. Uh, mountains are pretty simple in World Painter, uh, and uh, there's a few misconceptions on how to make mountains, um, which can lead to some pretty bad stuff. So if I come over here, uh, most people, uh, and I, I don't say that this is, you know, wrong for your intent or your purposes, um, but I, on, on places like Planet Minecraft, I see lots of people using the mountain brush. You never want to use the mountain brush. The only time I ever use the mountain brush, or the mountain tool should I say, is when I uh, tried uh, marking the locations of mountains. Basically what this thing does is it makes a dome about half the size of the, the current brush size that you're working with. Uh, and uh, of course based on intensity and you can make a dome shape and uh, the, uh, the, the steepness of the uh, dome can be determined by the brush uh, that you're using. Um, different dome uh, or different brushes will uh, give you different effects and if we go into 3d view I'm going to apologize I'm going to apologize if my voice gets a little fucked up here but you can see that the effects of these mountains I see a lot of this on planet Minecraft this is not how you want to make mountains um, first off it automatically designates what height you want the, the layers of like material to be on you don't want that Number two, the shape is terribly unrealistic. And three, the mountain brush, or the mountain tool, doesn't work with custom brushes so well. If I use this here, it's going to give you a really weird representation of that brush. And I'll, I'll go back into uh, 3D view so you can see that, that weird shape we just created. Look at that mountain. That is fucking crazy. That may might work on a big scale, on a large scale, if we, if we bump this up and I start using it and we let go. That looks a little bit more natural, a little bit better, but still that's not exactly what we're looking for. When we compare it to the rest of the landscape, it's really bad. So we're gonna get rid of all three of these, all four of these, or all five of these, or whatever we just did, and I'm gonna show you how to make some really good mountains. And these mountains are going to match the cliffness, the cliffy coastal style that we have already going on with the rest of the terrain. So um, if you don't like cliffy mountains, uh, this isn't the place for you. Also, a lot of the, the places in Game of Thrones uh, are based off of places in Ireland and Northern England and all those places um, that look, you know, that still look like they could have a castle or a medieval themed setting or landscape. Um, they fit really well with this type of stuff. This place is, um, I think it's called like Bayland Port or Balin Harbor or Balin Bay or Balin or something Balin, Balin, Swag, I don't know. <laughs> um, something along those lines, and I, I apologize if I forgot, but this is uh, one of the locations that uh, we'll be building at, and uh, on the map, this is uh, all the way up here, this little harbor. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy. We have seen that in the past. I, I showed you in-game what that looked like. Um, but you can see that there's lots of grass on these cliffs still. Even though it's very rocky, there's grass and moss growing all the way up the side of these. So we want to make sure that we keep that in the uh, the mountains that we make here. So they're not going to be very steep mountains. Um, I'm not going to go for anything that's in Norway. Norway mountains are notorious for being steep and just fucking massive rocks jutting out of the ground, you know, uh, and snow sometimes. They do have the greenery that's involved, but they also have a lot more cliff faces and smoother stone. Whereas what I'm looking at is a lot sharper, a lot more jagged. So what we want to do... Uh, if you if you know anything about um, this island, uh, this uh, pike area is um, this is where the castle is. The castle was built on this landmass, which pretty much extended out into the sea in some sort of uh, peninsula shape. And uh, over time, the, uh, the the ocean and the elements just eroded away sections of this peninsula. So sections of the castle still stand. A lot of them have actually fallen into the sea. Um, that's how this uh, this island shape was formed these cracks and you know stuff uh, into the landmass here um this is going to be the most mountainous part i uh, i'm going to make it the most mountainous part i'm also going to make it really tall 
uh, and steepen. Uh, you don't actually have to worry about screwing up the cliffs on your edge when using uh, raised, raised terrain brushes. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get um, the, the raise or lower terrain tool, the height tool, and we're going to get uh, a, a custom brush. Uh, you can find them in the description, of course, uh, down below. I'm going to be using Mountain 13 because that's one of my favorite shapes and it gives you a really good shape. And if we just start raising the train. Don't keep it in one spot because that's bad. That'll give you really defined edges and you, it's kind of hard to get rid of those. What you just want to use this to do is get the basic, you know, how big this mountain's going to be or this hill for uh, even this, this could just be like a really crazy hill. Now that's obviously not where we want a mountain. So I'm going to get rid of that. But basically you just don't want to keep it in the same spot. If you keep it in the same spot, it starts becoming really defined. And we don't want that. We want this to just basically give us an idea of where these hills are going to go. You can also use them directly on top of areas that um, are jagged and they still keep a, a shape. As long as you don't keep it uh, going in the same spot, as long as you don't smooth it out, um, it'll still keep like a, a, a ghost image of that shape at the very least. Uh, sometimes it works very well. If I come over here and raise this uh, terrain, you can still see the lines where those cliffs are. I haven't lost them. Um, we're not going to, uh, you know, try and do that too often, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the coastal areas a little bit. Um, be careful that you don't, you know, ruin your cliffs by uh, raising the ocean underneath it too much. But we want to raise these uh, these areas just a bit because these are supposed to be more mountainous. They're supposed to be nice, nice and hilly. And uh, I'm just going to add some height to the center of this island as much as I can and a little bit around the cliffs too. we got to keep in mind that the only hospitable port location is right here and uh that's uh, not even big enough port for some of the ships in the um the show they um they actually dock somewhere else and smaller ships come over here to trade so we have to make sure that the coast keeps its uh jagged uh, jagged uh shape and uh, rough terrain Okay, so you can see now how we have some decent looking hills and sort of mountains. They're not exactly rough yet, and here's where we're going to rough them up. Like I said, this terrain has lots of grass on it, and it's not that there uh, is, you know, viable farmland. Like I said in my last video, there really isn't. This place is really rocky. So now we have to give it the impression that these places are steep and jutting and rocky and, you know, not hospitable and very bad for farming. And, you know, it's going to it's gonna make it uh, look a little bit more like this uh, picture here. Um, so hopefully uh, what we're going to do now, uh, if, if you noticed some of my techniques while I was uh, creating the mountains, uh, pretty good. Uh, basically what I do when I create mountains that are big um, or hills that are big even uh, is I take the uh, the brush and I go along the edges of it and I slowly build it up until it's as tall as I need it to be. That's a little bit too tall because that's actually almost hitting world height. Basically we just want it to seem like these are really really tall hills. There might be a river extending from either this area down uh, into the center of the island and possibly out to the coast or from the area of Pike. If we go look at the map real quick, this is gonna be where Pike is and it doesn't look exactly great right now and we're gonna touch that up. Um, I'm gonna personally touch that up. I probably won't do it much on camera because it's gonna take so long to get it to look just right and I'm not even sure if that's um, the type of terrain I want over there. Uh, I could change it up entirely, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do most of those details in a, a different segment. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these rough brushes, right? These cliff brushes over here, and we're gonna start going up and down into the terrain with these. So for example, right here, we're gonna take this cliff brush and we're just gonna hold it down real quick, just for a second, just for a, like two or three seconds. And right there, you can already see it has broken up the terrain tremendously. It has already made that the top of that hill look a billion times better. So if we do that a little bit more around the area, take a different brush, come down here, right? Start uh, raising, start lowering terrain, 
come over to the other side, start raising, start raising, come up with this, raise it, and then go down to here, lower it. Basically what this is doing is, is lowering and breaking up this terrain and it's making it really rocky. And now we get to see that this mountain is really not that great of a mountain. It's not smooth, it's not going to have lots of grass growing all over it, it's really, really rocky. Um, to take it a step further, we're going to use the same idea uh, that we did with the, the, the same uh, technique that we used on the coastal cliffs and apply it to the mountains where we cut in to the terrain uh, at certain heights and just uh, throw in some cliffs, even steeper cliffs. And we really want this place to look really fucked up. That's a little messed up, actually. We don't want something like that, but we want it to cut in. Um, and if you want to clean that up a bit, just go along in here and do that. If you really need to smooth out the cliff and make it not so steep, what you can do is you can take the flatten tool, bring it down to like a very low amount, and then just tap. And tap it until it starts looking not so steep. And especially do it right on the edge. You can raise the intensity to like 30%. And it'll start smoothing out that area. And then if you need to roughen it up again, you just start... You bring this uh, this tool, height tool uh, brush back in, get another one of those rough uh, brushes, and uh, start deforming it up, and bam. Now we have that jagged shape over there, and look at those cliffs! And those mountains! It looks so much more interesting now, and when we paint this terrain, you're going to see those cliffs come out a lot. You can hardly see it now. Uh, you can see some of the stone poking out here and around here. But when we start painting the terrain, which will be next episode, you'll see those cliffs come alive. So I'm going to quickly go over all the cliffs using the techniques I just showed you. And then I'm going to show you how you can add rocks to the coast. Right, so if you look at the terrain now, it is it is ridiculous. It is so rocky and so crazy looking. It, it just looks amazing, I think. And I think this is really going to pull off what we're going for. It may be a little bit too crazy in some spots, and we can fix that as we go along when we start painting it. Painting it is really going to give you an idea of what this area is going to look like, because when we paint it, we're only going to paint um, a rock onto places where it's steep enough for the rock to be exposed and um, and we're going to do it uh, based on degrees which is a, a new thing with World Painter pretty pr relatively new I, I think it's been around for a bit but um, it's gonna give us a nice idea of what this terrain will look like in game before we even export it it's a lot better um, than what we had before it'll give us a, not, a lot better idea of how good we can make this terrain before we export it into Minecraft so um, for the most part, uh, that's it for mountains. In terms of adding rocks to the uh, the coast, it, it's pretty simple actually. Um, you want to grab one of these cliff uh, cliff brushes, preferably one of these not so full ones. Uh, either uh, which what you call it, cliff six, cliff seven, small cliff one, and small cliff five. Apparently, five. Oh my god, um, I have to re number some of these and. I apologize if they're not the same when you get this pack, but yeah. Anyway, basically all you really have to do for these is uh, you can either um, raise them out of the water uh, doing stuff like this, uh, which is probably preferable, or you can find places where it's shallow and you can lower the water so that these places turn into rocky areas. And that, that, that doesn't look too bad. Um, 
depending on how you use the brush, you'll either make a really sharp edge or a not so sharp one. Here we got some rocks in the water and we'll be placing these all around the island. And we really want to make some of these really dense areas with rocks. And some of them don't have to be so dense, but we want rocks uh, to be certainly a part of this in the ocean around the island. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'm going to show you a picture of what this looks like in game. Alright, so I'm in game and I'm near the actual location of the castle and as you can see we've uh, we, I've, I've done this off screen because it just took too long to actually make. It took a lot of fiddling around. There is not exactly a way to make this type of cliff face and these type of spires jutting into the sea. It's really just, you know, you have to mess with it until it works. For the most part, I did use the techniques that I was using in... Um, the world painter video part um, so here you can see that there's rocks outside these aren't obviously rocks yet they're still dirt and we'll we're going to be painting the actual landscape um, in the next episode but here you can see the four main parts of these uh, these rocks and if I go to, down here you can see these uh, coming into the sea and I actually forgot one I forgot uh, this one on the end um, or actually, I forgot this one right here. So I'm going to have to add that in. And uh, I'll extend this out. Um, I'll probably raise that one. And uh, I'll, I'll add another one over there. Um, I'll also raise this up a little bit if I can. And I'll extend this part out. Just like uh, it is on here where this there's like a, a, f like a very far extension of land coming out onto this side. Um... Other than that, there's not a lot I can do. I can try adding the cliff uh, that separates the first two um, sections of castle. Uh, other than that, I can't really do anything. But let's go inland so I can show you the effects of the terrain uh, workings uh, on this side. Um, we can come on to this side over here on the other side of the cliff and see just how fucking steep this shit gets. And the thing I like about this is that it's not always steep. It's got these areas where it's smooth and soft. Um, and uh, other places where it's steep. I might clean this up a little bit. This looks a little bit too steep. Uh, make it nicer, uh, a little bit more um, terraced, uh, possibly. Coming in here, though, you could see the mountains that we've created, the really steep, broken mountains. You can see areas where there's just cliff and exposed rock that will be coming out, and it'll uh, seem a lot more uh, noticeable and more exposed when we paint the landscape. Uh, yeah, but for the most part, it, it came out alright. I might lower this uh, mountain. I'm not sure if I want that that tall. Uh, it depends. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see the landscape coming down into here. There's not actually a lot of stuff going on in terms of broken hills and mountains. Uh, let's see if I can find some good examples real quick. Not entirely sure. Uh, you can see some of it over there. See, see right in the center of the screen. The, the dirt that's rising up three or four blocks tall, two blocks tall, that's basically what we did to the entire map. And when we paint the map, those will stick out because those will be rocks uh, that are jutting out, and everything that's smooth enough will be grass. Some cliff sides like this might be a little bit too steep, so we might have to come back in here and fix that up. Uh, we should see more of it along the coast itself. Let's see if we can find the coast again so we can get a better picture of this stuff. There we go. Yeah, right here. There's some smooth areas. Smooth areas are pretty much like this steep and less steep than this. Uh, and, you know, this will be covered in grass, but something like this wall right here is going to be uh, rock when we paint it. I, I know I'm not really showing you or giving you any hint of this uh, right now, but uh, trust me, when we get to painting, you'll see how easy it is to make the entire map in like two or three brush strokes look super fantastic quite realistic in terms of you know how rocks are exposed on mountains and cliffs and uh hills even and you know in terrain in general and it'll be fucking great um so that's all for this episode i hope you enjoyed what i have to offer here today uh i know we're not accomplishing a lot each episode but i really want to talk to you about individual steps in creating this process i'm sorry if it's a little bit slow for you i know that there are other people that make tutorials about this stuff that go a lot faster than i do but um, 
in the end, I think it's worth it because I know that there's a lot of questions people still have about this stuff. And I don't want you guys questioning uh, or, you know, having trouble figuring out something. I want to explain as much of it as I can uh, in a single video or um, of, of a single step. And I don't want to spend too much time uh, or I don't want to spend too little time going over an entire process and not going in depth on how to do it. So I hope you, um, you know, enjoyed what I have here to to offer you uh, and uh, you know I hope you come back and see the finished product um, we'll pretty much be seeing the, the completed landscape in the next video because we'll doing we'll be doing biome painting uh, and trees as the last video and then we're gonna start building the actual castle um, and I hope uh, you guys uh, will enjoy that and look forward to it as much as I do it's fucking fantastic making this terrain and making it look good so comment rate favorite subscribe tell me what you think of this shit uh and click the link at the end of the video to watch the next part of this series and I will see you guys later based on intensity and you can make a dome shape and uh, the, uh, the the steepness of the uh, dome can be determined by the brush uh, that you're using um, different dome uh, or different brushes will uh, give you different effects and if we go into 3d view I'm going to apologize I'm going to apologize if my voice gets a little fucked up here, but you can see the, the effects of these mountains. I see a lot of this on Planet Minecraft. This is not how you want to make mountains. Um, first off, it automatically designates what height you want the, the layers of like material to be on. You don't want that. Number two, the shape is terrible. These are all five of these or whatever we just did. And I'm going to show you how to make some really good mountains. And these mountains are going to match the cliffness, the cliffy coastal style that we have already going on with the rest of the terrain. So um, if you don't like cliffy mountains uh this isn't the place for you also a lot of the the places in game of thrones uh are based off of places in ireland and northern england and all those places um that look you know that still look like they could have a castle or a medieval themed setting or landscape um they fit really well with this type of stuff this place is um i think it's called like bayland port or Balin Harbor or Balin, uh, there's a few misconceptions on how to make mountains, um, which can lead to some pretty bad stuff. So if I come over here, uh, most people, uh, and I, I don't say that this is, you know, wrong for your intent or your purposes, um, but I, on, on places like Planet Minecraft, I see lots of people using the mountain brush. You never want to use the mountain brush. The only time I ever use the mountain brush or the mountain tool, should I say, is when I uh, tried uh, marking the locations of mountains. Basically what this thing does is it makes a dome about half the size of the, the current brush size that you're working with, uh, and terribly unrealistic. And three, the mountain brush, or the mountain tool, doesn't work with custom brushes so well. If I use this here, it's gonna give you a really weird representation of that brush and I'll, I'll go back into a uh, 3d view so you can see that that weird shape we just created look at that mountain that is fucking crazy that may might work on a big scale on a large scale if we if we bump this up and I start using it and we let go that looks a little bit more natural a little bit better but still that's not exactly what we're looking for when we compare it to the rest of the landscape it's really bad so we're gonna get rid of all three of these all four of these hello once again YouTube Chris the Nightbringer bringing you some world painter action when we left off I had finished for the most part the coastal areas of the map if you don't know we are making Pike from Game of Thrones the entire island of Pike including the castle and the two towns that are going to be located on it um, pretty much other than that nothing else of concern uh, when you well when we left off there was uh, only coastal cliffs and the entire place was made out of dirt Today we are going to be going over mountains and details of terrain. Uh, mountains are pretty simple in World Painter, uh, and 